Hello, this Ironhead 41. <laughs> we got our auger hooked up. I'm just going to check everything, uh, make sure everything works good. Uh, first, now there's a key thing when you, because of these eight ends, when you engage the PTO, um, it works the hydraulic lift, but it'll also turn the PTO shaft. So never hook up your drive shaft, your PTO shaft, um, to your auger until you've got it all hooked up and then you lift it and you hook it up last. You see, what I like about this too is also this cover. And uh, you take that off, it keeps it all nice and clean. That spine line looks good. <laughs> but then I also like to use an adapter. And see this one here is not made uh, for one of these side bolts. Which I don't, I don't use those anyway. If, if my attachment has a hole in it like that, that's what I use. And I use these pins. This is probably a grade 2, I guess, steel pin that's brass coated. Uh, so, if that shears, uh, it's 99 cent. If this thing here shears, uh, it's 20 bucks. If that thing there shears, that's 150 bucks. So, uh, I'd rather one of these shear. <laughs> All right, now that I got the auger attachment stood up, now I want to check the gear oil in it. Uh, right here is a side plug. If you start to loosen that and it starts oil starts coming out, close it right back up. You don't have to add any at all. Uh, but you don't have to do that. I don't like losing any of it. So I just open the top and just estimate that level should be somewhere in here. And it looks fantastic. <laughs> Let's close her up. Alrighty, now we got our dry shaft all hooked up. Isn't that beautiful? Now let's go give this thing a, a test run. Alright, I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at that auger, it is leaning to the left about four or five inches. And that is because that this hydraulic lifting arm is lifting higher than this side. This one doesn't have an adjustment, but this one does. So now I've got to turn this to get that straight up and down. Pretty simple, eh? <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna do a little work right there. Right there, this first cutting, that right there, that needs to be bent down. Need to heat that with a torch and bend it down so when it grabs, it grabs. Oh yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> well that is this little auger in action. I am looking for a bigger auger. I'd love to have a 12 inch, not this little bitty six. Uh, all right, well that's it.